taxes based upon those bondages. Imagine yeah. how much he liked Kevin. Yo. Whatever, Michael. Look, I have a better idea. This Friday mm -hmm. night, they're having a Kevin contest. It would be great if we all went to. Oh, Mike. Yeah. Look, I'm at work, yeah. Well, oh, for real? Just for roots, yeah. I'm okay. I'm about to. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do the hood first, and then give it to you. All right, cool. And then I, I'm gonna still be on. I, I, I got the shit recorded. All right. What's up, fellas? Oh, we the only two here again. Why? That's crazy. You tried it, Winston. <laughs> I had to. You got to go to high time frame, bro. That's weeks, huh? Just a weekly? Yeah. All right. Look good. We got close to uh, 551, and then it turned around. I still want. Well, we still in the uptrend, right, Mike? Yep. Yeah. So I'll probably hit it. We go past five fifty one, fucking five sixty four. But that'll be five next close. We uh ended up creating a gap down here. Yeah. On a weekly side, and then we filled one. I'm gonna go to the daily. So Y'all look on the daily. That's what we did. We filled this gap on the third third try. Filled it and closed back inside. You got that? So now, to me, we got to come down and fill this gap, bro. That's what I think happened on the daily. What you got, Mike? Yeah, uh, uh, you don't think it's gonna go down and fill it? I, I think we, uh, I think the market about to turn over. I think, yeah, but, but, uh, um, we rolling through it. I think the market about to turn over, dog. Okay, I think we better start selling. I definitely wanted to come to 37. I actually had, I got a 37 for Monday. I believe, but I got in it. Uh, I thought we was gonna hit thirty seven last week, to be honest. But we didn't. We just kind of went up high. So the ones I had for last week, they got burnt. And then, uh, but we we have started turning over. I'm thinking weekly wise, we could see thirty seven. It's the same thing as you. Now, will we bounce 37? I don't know. But I definitely think we can sell now. I would want it to close under 37 next time we meet. And All then... Right. All right. I'm with you. Close under 30. You get what I'm saying? Close mm -hmm. and break it. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be like, all right, cool. Let's, let's start going down further and cleaning up some of the shit that we left behind. Right. Which is a lot. A lot. A whole lot. Yeah, looking at buying some full fifty puts. Full fifty, yeah. Full fifty for what two? I'm, I'm, these gonna be leaps though. This is gonna be like two years out. Uh, yeah, I know he got some for y'all that, that I ain't even. <laughs> <laughs> we closed in this gap. What is this Nvidia? On Nvidia. On twenty, uh, a guy I know who will remain nameless. He said, "Uh, one oh seven. I was, I would like for this to come get cleaned up. One oh three to ninety. That'll be a great buying opportunity. Yes, he was saying he would buy at one oh seven. Who is he? Who is this guy? You want me to say his name? The dude who knows how to trade, but." Never shows his account. The red dude, the, the red pants. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
the only one out of everybody. Well, so like 90, 96. I like it to come down here. 94. You said 107. Yeah. It's still a, it's still a sale. But yeah. So, bro, nobody, nobody ain't gonna trade in the video, dog. Don't, don't, I'm afraid of them. Spy. He's gonna buy when it comes out. <laughs> yeah, just buy shares, buy shares of it. Apple sit on top of here like Ooh. a true G. Yeah, yeah. Big gangster. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so the gap is made now. Now we got to see if it's gonna fill it, but mm -hmm. it didn't go higher than uh, last week. Yeah, two twenty. It didn't go high, so we we in a quote unquote mother ball right now. Hopefully, we can get if if it's everything that me and Mike thinking, you probably could go grab your uh, two hundred for uh, we'll two three weeks out. I mean, what we at now? Two oh seven? Ah, uh, yeah. Play yeah. that bitch week by week. You hear me? Yeah, you know yeah. Apple. Apple really don't be moving like that, to be honest. Yeah, just a week. But that bitch gonna be high to get a two week to get a two week two hundred. That bitch gonna be high. Yeah, you almost see buy your two or seven if it don't happen this week. You get that bitch for next week. Being honest, yeah, I'm gonna fucking put a shit in order, man. Let me go to daily. Ooh, it actually filled this gap on the daily. I guess you could call this a bounce on this gap. I would ask so so do this, y'all. This is still a lot of money, 10, 10 points on Apple. I will wait for a daily closure under 207. When we could close inside this gap. Buy your uh, two hundred dollar put. Yeah, two hundred uh uh two hundred dollar put for July fifth is only ninety cents. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Yeah. Especially catch that day when it moved like two, three points, um, possibly even five. But yeah, I like that. Yeah, Apple look like it's going to go. A I'm going to say this. Apple don't be leaving shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to come check price. Because even on a weekly, 200, 197 is, is actually the number. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. our signal to vital. Is gonna be when we get our closure under uh, this fair uh, closure inside the gap. Then now you're playing two hundred six, two hundred seven, down to one ninety seven. You a you a Harris, bro? <laughs> yeah, they got me in the. I came over to the hotel to help them out. Okay. And I got headphones in. I sound crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that. The show must go on, Mike. <laughs> They they know that. What other one are we looking at? Tesla? Yeah, you can look at Tesla. So Apple, the only one we really got to play for. Tesla, we kind of, y'all see the malts still on there. This is a man, forever thing. Yeah, this is a forever thing. Consolidation, man. Mm -hmm. So go in there. Yeah, don't fuck with Tesla. So, the play I got is fucking Apple, uh, yeah. Spy, five thirty-seven, and Apple one ninety-seven. Once we close under two o seven, I'm about to get this to you, but uh, no diddy. Make Mike the host, and then uh, I'm still gonna be in there though, right. looking at the phone. Right. Hold on, I just wanted to save it from the computer. But I ain't gonna be by this bitch. Oh, you got your computer with you. You just using it. Oh, all right. The show, the show must go. She's like, good feeling this house is firing and keep me from doing that. I'm gonna need to press that. I just need some good advice. All right. Let me, let me say this. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. All right, man. It ain't no. All right. Let's do this then. All right. All right, guys. Let's get to it. I'm going to start at the weekly. How many? Because the money, well, I could go to the monthly too. The money was over. 
for the month is is uh it's bullish right so this is this is what i got bro this is what i got um so i'm gonna get my let me get my utensils out here so you see this this monthly gap right here it's a monthly gap that we traded into filled it retraced it right you see it everybody see it Yeah, okay. So inside of this gap is is liquidity, right? Mm -hmm. So when we, we pulled the liquidity out of this gap, internal liquidity bought it external, right? So now a few weeks back I mentioned to y'all the strongest order blocks sweep liquidity. This candle pull liquidity, right? So if it, let's just say by chance that we close this month on top of this candle, right? This is the this candle right here is gonna tell you everything you need to know as as far as we'll be doing going forward. If the market respects this candle to continue to be bullish, or do we dis disrespect this and start selling? I, I I'm a strong believer in the latter, and I'm gonna explain to you why as we go down the time frames. But I'm I think we're gonna probably disrespect this order block and sell and then use it as resistance. But this is the monthly. Let me go to the weekly. And maybe I'll be able to give you a little uh, a little more insight of why I say that. All right. So we created this weekly gap. Uh, when we closed last week, we got this gap. We also got this weekly gap beneath us that we uh we dipped into, and pulled the liquidity out. So boom, we took this we took this internal liquidity external, right? So this was the high. I'm sorry, this was the high. So we took this internal liquidity external. So now we created another gap, right? So now the the tell tell sign is this. You won't see if this gap gets respected as well as that monthly order block that I just mentioned on the last, you know, when I when we were looking at the monthly chart. It should be those uh two red candles, huh? These two red candles, yeah. So this yeah, okay. you know, this what you be this what you're looking for because this is this is a bullish breaker right here. And we already used it. We used it one, two, three times. We dug into it three times. So if the market does to decide to sell we already pulled the liquidity out of this gap, so you could expect the market to trade straight through. But by by the monthly and the weekly being the two higher time frames that we just looked at, as I go down to the lower time frames, you're gonna be you're gonna be able to see that the market kind of turning over on the smaller time frames before it happens on the, the high time frames, because you know everything happened on the small time frame first before the before you know the high time frames actually show it but it, it's, it's giving you signs and i'm gonna show you so like i said we got this weekly gap we got we got this area of interest right here which could be used as support which we already dug into right here with this candle so as we as the market in my opinion as the market turns over we'll be able to see if we get respect or we disrespect it but Let's go to the daily. And now it's gonna start making it's gonna start being a little bit more clear on the daily. So look on the daily. Look at all these gaps that we have on the daily, right? I'm gonna draw them out for y'all so y'all can see it. We got this one. Hasn't been filled yet, but what look, we punched it twice, three times. We punched it, took all the liquidity out of that, right? This gap, same thing. This gap, same thing, right? So, you know, you know how I might get down. It's the high, it's the low, right? Boom. So we're looking for something in, in premium to sell, right? Boom. So you know, premium is sixty one seventy six and above. Look at this gap in premium. You see this daily this daily gap in premium right here that we created last week is in the premium. 
this is your this is this is it right here. This is this is what you're looking for. You, this is the gap. We swept liquidity, reverse, mm -hmm. created a fair value gap. Sound like a broken record, right? Mm -hmm. Now it I remember telling y'all this happens on all time frames. When it happens on a high time frame like the daily, you gotta go with it. You gotta go with it. So now you gotta find your trade. On a, of course, you're gonna find it on a smaller time frame because you're not trying to take no daily entry on the gap. You gotta find a smaller time frame and whatever time frame aligns with what you're trying to do. That's what you gotta go with, right? So this was the high. You can see this was the high. Whatever high you want to use, swept that liquidity, reverse, treated it back into the range, created a gap. Look, look. look. This is this is my A1 plus setup, but I take this setup on the smaller time frames. But when it happens on a high time frame like a daily, you, your your antenna's got to go up. It's in premium. The market sells premium, buys discount. The discount of the range is way down here. And guess what? We didn't clear out all these gaps. It should no liquidity in this gap, no liquidity in this gap, no liquidity in this gap. So we sell back down, it's gonna be a smooth ride, my boy. It's gonna be smooth. And you know the market sells faster than it than it goes up. That's what I like to hear. It's gonna be a smooth ride down. Smooth. Now, now this is the four, this is the daily. Now let me go to it on the four hour. I'm gonna get I'm, I'm gonna be able to get into it with more detail. Remove that. Let's go to the four. I'm gonna load up, baby. Let's go. All right. So now this is what we got. You can see this was the league right here. This was the last run. This is the last run to the upside right here. This league started right here. Or you can see this one, whichever one you're more comfortable with. This one. Oh, we stuck in that bitch. I said we started right here. So look. So this is what we got. We got this daily fair value gap and premium, right? You see this? Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. that's a daily gap. But if you look closer, I'm gonna draw it for y'all, man. I'm I'm giving y'all the, the secret sauce today. I was on this chart for a long time yesterday. You got this, you got this four hour gap in premium. Mm hmm One plus one is equal to two today. Boom. It's your premium, baby. Every, you, you see it? Mm -hmm. I see what you're picking up what I'm putting down here. All right, cool. Remove the fear. So now on a four hour, you got you got a closure below your last run to the upside. You got a closure below that. You got two. You got closures below it. Tested it once, sure. twice, three times. Couldn't get back above it. Right. Kept closing inside of this four hour gap. Now, if you notice on this four hour gap. Traded into it once, couldn't get no higher. Traded into it twice, couldn't get no higher. Tapped it again, couldn't, couldn't do nothing. Traded into it again, traded into it again. It, all this liquidity in this gap is just dried up. So you can expect the market to try to trade back into this inefficiency right here, this, this four-hour gap that's in premium, and sell. And... It's gonna be a dookie drop candle, dog, because this gap gonna get filled. Now, it's it's highly likely that we're gonna probably respect this order block right here. I'm gonna show it to y'all. This order block. I'm gonna draw. Let me use a line. I don't want to use a box. It's highly likely that this this order block will be respected. It's when we trade lower, but. Just think about this, fellas. Just think about this from a four-hour perspective, right? Does it say the market opens up tonight and tomorrow trades consolidates inside this gap? Then all of a sudden trades higher into this gap. This is this is now, fellas. Listen to me clear. This is a daily gap that's in premium, and it's a four-hour gap that's in premium. You got to take this sale, bro. You got to. It, even if it's the only trade you take all week, you got to take this, bro. 
I was about to say, because I went back while you was doing your chart, Mike. Mm-hmm. And um almost I don't want to make it simple because I could be wrong, but uh like I entry to sell spy daily wise is like uh 546. Mm-hmm. And I was about to tell them 547 so it can match, but uh 547 down to 537. Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. But uh can we turn that power on? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, make sure you put circuit 59 on it. Yeah. On a uh, cover? All right, I got them all. Oh, and right which way is on, which way is off. So if in the off position is up, right on at the top. Okay. So that way, you know, it ain't out. All right. Yeah. So, so I just. I didn't want to do. I, my bad, Mike. One more time. Yeah. I don't, I didn't want to give them that number and have it match like Apple. You might want to get in that 46. Yeah. 546. Don't don't I don't think we're gonna get 547. Like 546, uh, and then buy the 537. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you are. So look, so look, fellas, look, now I'm gonna try to keep this as simple as possible. Now, this was we call this was a um a four hour displacement gap right here, right? We dug into it, we went to the 50%. Went to the 38%. Pulling all this liquidity out of it. So we went all the way to the discount of this gap. If you don't believe me, let me show you. No problem. I'll show you. I'll show you. Went to 50%. This candle. This candle went to 38%. That's the discount of the gap. Now, I could come lower to 23 and and try to... Uh, and try to come back up to this fair value gap and then sell this this right here listen to me if i if i didn't tell y'all nothing else in the past listen to me listen to me clear this gap this daily gap this four hour gap you need to be here you need to be here get in here if you trade spx find this gap on the daily find this gap on the four hour spx buy you some puts Right. So now, even if we take this trade, what are we looking to get out at? That's a great question. I'm glad y'all asked. So you enter this trade, right? This is now keep in mind, this is a daily as well as a four hour gap, right? So let's just go back to the daily. So let's just say for, for shits and giggles that this remains the low. Right, this remains the low inside of this gap, and you enter this trade. Let's say it goes all the way to 55, 59, double low, and then it sells. Your exit is 55, 18. Now, that's your first price target. Your second price target is the gap fill. Now, I'm 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 under the impression that it's gonna get real aggressive and come to, to this low, 54, 61. That's that's just me. Because you got to look at, if you look at how we punch these gaps and we pulled the liquidity out of it. Now, now look how we pulled the liquidity out of it, but we couldn't get no higher. We couldn't get no higher, bro. Trade into it again Friday, we couldn't get no higher. We closed inside of it. So now I'm expecting the market to come up, test this gap, and go liquidity has been pulled out of all of these gaps is a reason why the market kept selling and not following through we leaving liquidity down here liquidity liquidity all this none but all this down here all this all this all this the market see them all this is going to attack them all this all right so now let's go back to the four hours so back to the four hour now same rules apply close inside of this displacement gap Four hour gap in premium, you're looking to take that gap to the downside. You're looking, so if you take it from a four hour perspective, right, your, your, your four hour low is here, 5519. Right? I'm looking for the market to respect this in some sort of way. Um, but I'm going to tell you this when the market turns over and it switches delivery, so it's, 
it's not buy side delivery, it's sell side delivery, meaning we're not bullish no more, we're bearish. See these bullish reasons to buy the market, they get different, they get disrespected. That's how you really know that the market is switching, turning over. Your bullish order block buying here, it might get disrespected, it might get closed below. So when you see that, you know we on the other side of the market now. It's time to look for positions to sell. Right? And I just want to show y'all, bro, all these gaps. Look at this liquidity. All you see this, this consolidation here. You got your expansion. You got your consolidation here. Got your expansion. You got your consolidation here. You got your reversal. Close beneath this consolidation. Couldn't get back above it. You see it? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? All right. So then you trade. Mm -hmm. this is your I'm gap. here, bro. I'm this, here. This your I gap got to keep on pulling the phone and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it off. This is, this is now this is your premium. You now I, I want y'all to remember about premium, bro. The market sells premium and buys discount. This is your premium. You got when you have a uh, uh, an inefficiency in premium, that that's your golden ticket, man. You have an inefficiency in 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 discount, that's your golden ticket. This these are the sales. These are the moves that you know. Buy you a set of new tires right here. Run flats. This, these are the moves right here, bro. So I just want y'all to pay attention to the numbers. Look at it on on the ES chart. Look at it on the four hour of um spy, SPX. You know it's probably on the Nasdaq too. I haven't looked at it. I didn't even chart the Nasdaq this weekend, but just check it out. Nah, we did the. Let's go to the one hour. Load them up, load them up, load them up. All right, guys. Now, this is the one hour. Now, if you look at the one hour, the one hour is a little different. But guess what? Y'all see it? See the gap? We traded into it already? Or did we? Nobody. No. All right. Cool. So on the on the one hour, this is what you got. Trade so, in the what, Mike? What 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 gap? Got gap we got this gap right here that we traded into. We pulled the liquidity out of it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. this is your daily gap. This is your four hour gap up here. But right. check this out. I'm gonna put a line right here. This was the last run to the upside, right? You see that? Before, mm -hmm. before the reversal, we closed beneath that run. <clears throat> we used this run as resistance with this candle. You see, we, we traded back into it. So long. Mm -hmm. we, created, we created all this liquidity down here. Nah. We had, nah, the one, the one hour was a bit different. We had gaps on top of gaps, right? So this gap was filled and retraced. Then we traded into the gap beneath it. Hold oh, on. Treating to this gap beneath it. So now we got one more gap beneath it, as well as this four hour order block. That this this four hour order block. This is blue line right here, which is also a one hour breaker right here. So if the market don't respect this, this is the last line of defense. If the market don't respect this, bro, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you, dog. It's it's gonna get ugly fast. It's going to get ugly fast. But when you have a daily fair value gap and a four-hour fair value gap in premium, that's powerful, though. That's powerful. So I just want y'all, I just, you know, just give me out of hands up to, you know. That's what I'm looking for going into this week or even next week. If it takes two weeks to get up there, whatever. If we consolidate for a few days or consolidate. Bounce back and forth from from this low to this high. Bounce back and forth, and then finally trade in, and then drop. You Do we have news next week? You heard it here first. Um, 
Do we have news next week? I believe we yeah. do. Um, we got. Yeah, we got news uh, Thursday. We got we got news Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Tuesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, just just pay attention, man. Just pay attention. Like I said, this is. This